Hello there, my name is Rugina and today we're going to talk about the best running shoes for winter time. This question is actually relevant to all runners who live in places where the temperature in winter time is lower than zero degrees Celsius. So yeah, now I'm preparing for my um, running training, for my running exercises. Uh, today I'm going to run five kilometers, actually. Uh, the weather is quite well, it's like minus 10. So firstly, let's define what kind of problems do runners face about running in winter time. And there are two common problems. And the first problem is black ice. It happens when firstly the temperature is about zero or maybe above zero and the road is actually wet, uh, maybe after rain or maybe after snowfall, and then the temperature is becoming much lower, below zero degrees Celsius. I'm sure you know how uncomfortable is it uh, at least just to walk on such a slippery surface. And yeah, of course, it's much harder to run in these circumstances. And the second one reason is freeze. So in some countries, for example, how it happens in Russia actually, the winter temperature uh, most of the time is below zero degrees Celsius. So when you start your running training, first moments it could feel really uncomfortable. But then while you keep running, of course, you are getting warm. Such a great weather actually today, running like minus 10, but very comfortable. No wind and very, very fresh air. But anyway, we should be prepared for such low temperature by choosing relevant clothes and especially perfectly suitable running shoes. The main goal is to keep your feet warm, dry and safe as you run through winter. But how to find out what kind of shoes is actually perfectly suitable for winter running? Let's try to look at the shoe structure. Uh, yeah, I brought some of my running shoes to show you. Uh, so, generally, we have three main components in running shoe. Uh, here you can see an upper of running shoe. Uh, here you can see the midsole. And down here we can see the outsole of running shoe. In the future, I'm going to make a comprehensive video about all parts of running shoes that are important to be known, no matter if you are looking for winter running shoes or summer running shoes. But this time, let's focus on the winter. And in this case, the most important part of the running shoe for us is the outsole. Uh, so nowadays, on the market, you can find three types of the outsoles. The classic outsole for road running, the outsole for trail running, and the outsole with metal spikes. So what's the difference between them? I was thinking about how to show you the main difference between these running shoes and uh, how to make it more clear. And uh, I realized that the best way to show you it is just to make practical experiment. So right now you're gonna see what happened. The idea of this experiment was to try to sleep on this snowy road. I think the result is quite eloquent. But let's try to sort it all out. Uh, so the classic outsole for road running shoes tend to have flatter, smoother and more durable soles for running on pavement. Due to the lack of special locks or spikes, running in the shoes can be quite slippery. It is possible to use this type of shoes in winter if you don't have a lot of ice on the roads. But please pay attention to the material soft rubber or even with special sticky compounds deliver much better grip than harder outsoles. Uh, so the outsoles on trail running shoes typically have uh, bigger and uh, softer lugs for better traction on trails. The size and the pattern of the lugs vary based on the type of terrain the shoes are designed for. The rubber is typically softer than is on the road running shoes, so it's quite a good option for winter cold temperature. Uh, spiked running shoes uh, have special metal spikes on the bottom of the shoe. Can you hear that? 
The rubber outsole almost always is also softer than on road running shoes, so it's more like trail running shoes. But metal spikes can considerably increase your running speed and improve the traction when you need it the most. It works practically the same as on studded tires. Using these shoes, you can run even on the slippery, icy surface without any fear. And also I wanted to say a few words about the uppers. Uh, basically, you can find two types of uppers. The classic one and the upper with Gore-Tex. Uh, the shoe with Gore-Tex means that it's made using Gore-Tex technology. This type of upper is extremely waterproof and has no seams that allow water in. It made to keep the feet dry while staying breathable. So, what would I recommend for you? Well, based on my six years running experience, I would say the next. If you just start your way in running, it is not so crucial to try to find, you know, the best or the best running shoes for winter, uh, which is almost always quite expensive. So I think it's absolutely acceptable to go running using even simple summer running shoes. But if you already know that you are going to keep running and if you are looking for something more comfortable and more reliable, I would highly recommend you to buy trail running shoes with or without metal spikes. If the surface on your roads is slippery, the running shoes with metal spikes will absolutely be your best choice. Uh, I remember my first times uh, running in these shoes with metal spikes and uh, I still cannot forget how confident I felt. Uh, if to speak about the upper, I don't have the experience of using the running shoes with Gore-Tex yet. Uh, yeah, I think it's good technology and maybe in future I will buy uh, some kind of shoes with Gore-Tex technology. Now I just remember that I have boots with uh, Gore-Tex technology for hiking, yeah. So I have experience actually, but not for running shoes. Uh, for now I'm absolutely okay with my running shoes without Gore-Tex. I just use warm running socks and uh, after finishing of my running exercises I just immediately go home or to some warm places to prevent my feet and my body of freezing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope it was really useful for you and you could find all the needed answers. And if you have any questions, please write it here in the comments down below and I'll try to answer. And if you already have the experience about this topic, please share with us here in the comments down below. I'm sure everyone will be interested to read it. So stay healthy and strong and always choose the best options for your life and for your goals. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch new videos when they come. So see you in the next videos. Bye!